Hello everyone, this is Wei, and today we are going to talk about Open Life 3D, and this is the dev blog for uh, June and July. So in these two months, we developed two new features. The first one is lower body fixing, and the second one is toggle camera. Right. So for the first one, if you click into setting inside position, there is a position tracking uh, button that you can enable or disable position tracking. So right now, when position tracking is enabled, you will see that we our model can do, uh, move left to right, right to left, and up or down, and a little to the front, and also back, right? So our model will move in these positions. And if you disable position tracking, which is previously not allowed, if you disable it, you will see that the model is not moving too much. In fact, the leg will be completely fixed to the ground. So it will not move, so uh, the model will not move so vividly. And the second feature is toggle camera. So inside setting, in general, and there is a toggle camera button, it allows you to temporarily just disable the video source so if you disable the video source of course your model will not move anymore right so this is basically a way to pause uh, your video recording or pause the camera and thanks a lot to the community uh, contribution uh, for the member who actually helped to contribute the logic contribute to the code let me know if you would like to be mentioned and i would definitely thank you in the video and there are some to-dos that we're still following. The first one is, of course, we're still waiting for Google to solve this issue. Uh, the uh, media pipe 5166 uh, issue that is haven't been solved yet, right? So we st we're still waiting for it. After one and a half years, uh, after Google published the new framework, the holistic model is still not working in the new framework. And we're just one of the team or one of the member that are waiting for it. Like there are a lot of people waiting and looking forward to Google fixing this issue. And the second thing that is also suggested by our community, uh, by the way, join our Discord to uh, help uh, improve the software. So uh, raised by the community that we can add a hand gesture selection. And this is an interesting idea because there are two different modes, right? So one mode, you will be able to raise your hand, do different kinds of gesture. And in another mode, it's actually a more performance, uh, performant mode, right? So only do face tracking, face only mode. So inside this mode, if you got other options, that you can just simply click the application or click the website to show different hand gesture. That would be very good and even if you are using the uh, half body mode that can track your hand i would say that this hand gesture mode a uh, hand gesture selection will still be very useful since yeah you're not going to always raise your hand to a very uh weird pose if you are playing video games or if you are uh, typing keyboard Right, so this is very useful and I'm thinking that I should find a time to do it. So in the following two months, I will definitely try to find a time to start doing this, hopefully. Uh, so this is something that I would like to commit, uh, the hand gesture selection. And there are some pending features as well. So. Uh, the first one is the toggle camera UI improvement or UI update. I'm thinking of having an pause and play shortcut icon uh, for users to click to enable or disable uh, the video recording because currently you actually have to click into the setting uh, which might not be that friendly uh, for a user who actually want to click uh, directly to stop a video. Another way that I'm thinking is to add a hotkey, but I also afraid that if we add too much hotkey, uh, 
people could just like randomly type in something and then trigger a function that he didn't know. So let me know either in a comment or join the Discord server to provide your idea. Uh, we, what would be a best way for us to implement this? And then there are model flipping, also uh, suggested by one of the community team members that currently there is a camera flipping, right? You can horizontally flip the entire visualization. Uh, but this might not uh, fit what this user wants, right? Because the user might want to flip the model only while still having the same uh, movement, movement directions. So this could be one features that we provided. Currently, I'm not so sure about where we're going to provide this feature or not. So this is one of the feature pending features. Uh, but if there are more requests to it, uh, let me know. Another request is to have the eye facial mocap to connect the app uh, from iPhone or from the iPhone input to an app and then from this application directly to uh, our uh, Electron app. This is more complex. I haven't set up my determination to start developing this yet. We have some research uh, during last year, uh, like September, October, we tried to figure things out, how this could possibly work. And at the end, we found that this got to be very complicated. It would be great if someone can actually help <laughs> to start doing something with this, of course. And yeah, these are pending features. If you've got other ideas that you would like to suggest, please also let us know. Uh, it's, uh, it's very great that we actually have more members start trying to participate, start trying to uh, contribute. And it would be wonderful if there are people who would like to join. And thank you. Bye-bye.